Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless your name. We honor you so much because you have honored us through Jesus. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and the only, the best he has. He gave Jesus, Yeshua, that Lamb of God, which has fought, which has wrinkled, which has blemished. No songs there. He gave to us. And through him, that is the love of God. Jesus is the love of God. If you have Jesus, you have the love of God. Any good thing can happen to you. Every good thing must happen to you because of Jesus. Not because of yourself. Just because of Jesus. He is the gift from heaven for you. For you, as you are. For you. Don't think it is for another. For you. So it's his name in your heart. And continually thank God for him. That is that love that will never disappoint you. Thank you, Father, for giving us that love in Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Daniel 6, 19. Are you there? Amen. Then the king arose, very early in the morning, and went in haste unto the den of lions. Why? The enemies of Daniel, they know that Daniel is excellent. They know that the spirit of prophecy is in him. The spirit of God is in him. The spirit of wisdom is in him. The spirit of revelation is in him. They fear him a lot and they jealous him. You know that when you have all these beautiful things you want to have, you know that your enemies will also jealous you? You know that? If you are excellent in everything and you want a good job, you are just, you know, it can also raise some jealous against you. Do you know that? So the best thing is when you when you want to become rich, you also prepare to also fight against the thieves. But the thieves are not coming to rob the people who are poor. You see that? So one thing you have succeeded will also bring some challenges. Are we thinking about that? Jesus had his own challenge as the Son of God. The Son of God on earth had challenges. You know, the Pharisees were against him because the Pharisees were people who were they were white in the public and their 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 tandies are so long, you know, they make everything long, their beards are long. They make people look at them as, oh my God, this man must be a man of God. This man must be very holy. And when Jesus was coming, Jesus is so simple. Jesus is so simple. You know, a rabbi wearing his gun, carrying his bag. And Jesus is, and when Jesus opened his mouth, oh my God, these people would say, Man, we have never had things like this ever before. This man must be the Son of God. Are you the Christ? When whenever he preaches everybody, the Pharisees were so angry. Because they were the big boys, they were the big men, right? And that, now look at the rabbi. Come in, everybody is following Jesus and leaving them. They wanted the plan. They said, if we allow this man like this, he will take over from us. What shall we do? They started planning to kill Jesus. Did somebody hear what I'm saying? So everything we are doing, you know, is also rising, raising challenges. But what I have discovered is do those things Jesus has done. The, the challenges that come will become the challenges of Jesus. If you follow the way of Jesus, he will defend you. But if you follow your own way, you will defend yourself. So I rather follow the way of Christ. So that when I'm in trouble, Christ will defend me. Somebody say Amen. amen. See that I've been in trouble before and I know how it comes. If you don't have a child to defend you, right? Amen. Yes, when you suffer persecution in China, man, you will know what persecution is. It's not small, it's not this one. It's not just this one. Oh, my neighbor is not looking at me. Why are you looking at me like that? No, it's not that one. They will follow you home and know where your house is. You will see them people from your window outside. You know that this person are not good people. That people they, they want to know your movement. They follow you. Communist, communist followership. 
This one is not a small step. You will be sorry for your life. You will be counting your life in minutes. I'm telling you, because it happened to me. You pack your car, you know that the church bought a car for me. I'm the first missionary from Africa that the church bought a car. They bought a car, a gift for me. Man, man, it became also a problem. A problem. The police are following you. Know, who is this person? Who bought this car for you? Who did this? You know, you know they want to go to church. Where did they get the money? You know, my God. You find the car, somebody is just copying the number, you see them. Church, this is a real, this is a real. But if you are not doing anything for Christ, ah, you are happy. You are, no, nobody is against you. <laughs> nobody is against you. Nobody is um, coming to check you. And you think that that is the best? That's not the best. It's better to suffer the persecution of Christ. Amen. See that? I read it also you know, in the book of Daniel. And, uh, and Moses also saw that in the book of Hebrews. The Bible says when, when Moses came to the year to, the, to, to age, I think he was at that time. He made a decision. He said, "I rather suffer affliction with my people instead of being called the son of Pharaoh's daughter." You know that Pharaoh, Pharaoh's daughter, adopted Moses. Pharaoh's daughter adopted Moses. Pharaoh's daughter did what? Adopted uh, Moses. So Moses was protected by Pharaoh's daughter as an adopted child. But when he grew to 30, he said, I don't want to be called son of Pharaoh's daughter. He said, let me suffer affliction with the Hebrews. He crossed over from Pharaoh's house to the Hebrews. By that time, the Hebrews were slaves, suffering. But Moses was a prince in the house of Pharaoh. But when he knew the blood, where he came from, he crossed over. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? He crossed over. When he crossed over, he started suffering persecution. When he was 80, it's like the Spirit of God just came upon him. He, he, he knew that I am not, I, I'm not an Egyptian. I'm not. Remember how he knew? He crossed over to the Jews and started suffering instead of enjoying at the place. They, when he suffered, he couldn't bear it, he ran away. He ran away to Media. From there, when he ran away, he stayed 14 years running away. And God appeared before him in the burning bush in Media. And call him Moses, Moses, come out, remove your sandals. The land where you are is holy. I am the God of your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I want to send you back to Egypt. He said, No, 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 they will not hear me. I, I'm, a, I'm a, a fugitive there. I run away from No. Who created the storm? Who created you? Who created you? God rebuked him. I am the Lord. I will send you back. He saw that Moses was still doubting him. He said, what are you holding in your hand? Moses said, only a stick. He said, throw it down. Moses threw it down. He turned to a serpent. Snake. He said, take it off again. Take it by the tail. Don't touch the head. Take that by the tail. Moses took by the tail. He turned back to the staff. Wow. Moses said, wow. He said, now go. Now Moses now believed. I will tell you what you said. Oh, I'm a camera. I don't know. Who created the song? Who created the year? Who created God started telling me. Somebody said, Amen. Amen. He now obeyed. He went back to Egypt. He did the same miracles. People believed him. Aaron. And then that's how he now went to Pharaoh. Let my people go. Somebody said, Amen. Amen. In every generation, people like you, we take a challenge for God. It's not comfortable on any. If you're looking for comfortable, you will make a mistake. What we're talking about is not comfortable. Sometimes go outside comfort zone and serve God. And God will use you. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. Yes. Then Daniel, look at him, Daniel. 
Daniel was anointed man. Daniel had a good in the gift of wisdom. If you have a dream, Daniel can interpret the dream. You have a dream, you know, last night, you know, you don't know the meaning. Daniel, you just tap, 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 look at the meaning. Wow, this is the meaning. And others, we are jealous of him because he's been promoted to the second position. Second position. Now they say, what shall we do to, to pin him down? They say, if we say nobody should pray, we'll get it. Because we always pray. Church, people will use what you do. What you do for good. They want to turn it and then hold you there. They say, if we are looking for those who are taking women, no, Daniel, don't, don't talk to anybody. If you are looking for those who will steal, no, his, his record is clean. If you are looking for those who, who do anything good, no. Then where will they say peace? They just say nobody will pray except to the king. If we make it a law, we are going to hold Daniel because he will pray to his God. Someone hearing this? Yes. So they all agree. They made a law and then they deceive the king. They say, King, sign this law. The king read it and said, Why should I sign this law? They said, No, King, you know you are live forever. You are the king. You are the king of kings. We want this one week. Let's try it. Everybody will pray to you. <laughs> Not to any other God. Sign. The king sign. And in that place, when you sign, when the king sign, you can never revoke it. Can never revoke it. Even the king himself cannot revoke it. The king has already signed, puts his signet, and then puts all the seal, stuff, then they publish it. They say, now we have gotten Daniel. We are going to throw Daniel to the, to the bottom of the pit. Let us see how, how he can rule over us again. It's happened what happened to Joseph also. You know that? No, no, you know, you know that some of you come, we say, oh, everybody love me. Everybody love me. I, I know how you love. <laughs> everybody love me. I know that you're not challenging the devil. But if you challenge the devil, not everybody will love you. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? Yeah. When you challenge the devil, you know that the devil is holding the heart of some people. The devil will use them against you. But if you challenge the devil by Christ, don't be afraid. Because Jesus will be for you in the time of trouble. He will never abandon you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. Somebody said, Amen. Amen. Now look at this. And when he came to the dead, Throughout the night, the king, when they, when they have done this, the king was not happy. Imagine when the king has done something and realized the people why they did it. The king was not happy. Because the king loved Daniel. When, when now they reported that it was Daniel who was praying, the king tried his best to serve Daniel. Tried his best. Because the king loved Daniel. He promoted Daniel. You know, but now, who the law that the king has signed this week? Daniel is the is the victim right now, and they are saying we are going to put Daniel into the into the pit of lions. They say, King, you have already signed the law; you cannot revoke it. King tried his best to save Daniel. They say, No way, he can't, because according to our constitution, anybody that fell. What the king has said must go to the pit of lions. Wow, the king cried, Oh my God, what type of thing have I done? They said, King, we must throw Daniel in. And then the king allowed them to throw Daniel into the pit. We are lions, we are hungry. We are lions, we are hungry. Now look at what happened. You know, the, the king did not sleep because he disturbed the king. The king said, I love Daniel so much. The, these people have now. Made me to do this. In the night, the king could not sleep. The king had a night vigil. You know, I'm here on Friday, you know, from 10 o'clock, the, the men on the stay here, so you can join them here, night vigil, from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock. And then there's a testimony today, I'm so happy about that, that they are praying, praying. Night vigil is very, very important. Then, don't joke with my vision. The king could not sleep in the night. 
Early in the morning, the king had to go out to the beach, to the lion's den, and shout, Daniel! Daniel! Son of God! Did your God, the God you trust so much, did God save you? I want to hear your voice. Then the king went in. And all of a sudden, a voice from the pit rose up. Yes, my king! Wow! The king lived forever! Wow! God sent his angel to come and close the mouth of the lion. I'm still alive. Wow! The king was so happy. He said, quick, 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 quick. He commanded his people, go and release him immediately. You know? Look at this. Let's all read it together. This is beautiful. 20. And when he came to the den, he cried with a lamentable voice unto Daniel. And the king spake and said to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living God, he is thy God, whom thou servest continually. And he was to deliver thee from the lions. Wow. See 21. See what Daniel said. Yes. Said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. Do you know that between King and Daniel, there is, there is relationship. You see that? There is a relationship between King and Daniel. Even when Daniel was still in the pit, he was so polite. He didn't lose his peace. He didn't become sour and angry and say, hmm, no, 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 don't ask me this thing. I'm so, uh, I, I nearly lost my life. Oh, no. He didn't say something like that. He still obeyed the king and praised the king. Yeah, did you, are we learning that? He said, oh, king, live forever. Somebody said, hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is called the fruit of the spirit. The fruit of the spirit. Even when we are in the difficult places. Even when we are in dangerous places. Even when our faith is being tested. Don't lose the fruits of the Spirit. The fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, long suffering, faithfulness, gentleness, and long suffering. Okay, there are nine of them. Don't lose any one of them if they when people challenge you. Because the fruit of the Spirit is like when you come to the tree and you are hungry. What do you expect? The fruit from the tree, right? You come to the mango tree and you are so hungry for mango. For one year or two, you've never eaten mango. You can't. They say that mango is precious, very, very nice. You come there, wow, you now see mango. You say, oh, how, how, I, how if I can see a right one? You look, 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 look at the right one. You're going to take it, right? When you take it, you just eat it. Wow, it's true. This mango is very good. Now, you are praising the mango because of the fruit you are eating. You say the mango is good. Why? The fruit is good. Jesus said, if the tree be good, the fruit will be good. So, I say, amen. amen. The fruit is always good. The fruit is always what judges the tree. What is your fruit? What you are saying? The love you are giving to other people. That's our fruit. If even when you are angry, you still say, God forgive them, like Jesus on the cross. Look at what they have done to him. They slapped him. They wounded him. They wounded him. They did all those things. But look at his fruit. Look at his fruit. His fruit is, Father, Forgive them, for they do not know what they do. The fruit is good. The fruit is not power. Oh, Father, kill them. Let let serpent bite them. Let them them die because of what they have done. No, that's how it is, right? What did Jesus say? Father, forgive them. For they do not know. Somebody say amen. 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 So look at Daniel in the pit. Look at, look at the king who put him there by the law. He said, The king lives forever. Amen. I am okay here. Amen. 
the Lord sent his angel to close the mouth of the lion. Can we clap our hands for Jesus? I am showing you, I am showing you why we live. Why we live is to produce good fruit. Amen. Good fruit is a good character in time of trouble. Amen. Good fruit is that you are not sour and become offend, offended. Jesus said, Blessed are you when you are not offended because of me. Today, some Christians are offended because of Christ. When they are in the service and the, and the service is too long, they, they, they get angry. These are spiritual offense. You know, today also, you know, you, you, you might give it. Even tell somebody, oh, oh, keep this thing clear, or oh, do this and do that. They say, oh, am I, am I your servant? Am I your me? You know, they get offended. Jesus never got offended. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. And that is recorded for him. And that is called the fruit of the Spirit. And in the book of uh, Hebrew, that was recorded that the blood of Abel spoke vengeance, but the blood of Jesus spoke better things than the blood of Abel. When Abel was killed, his blood was saying, Father, avenge my brother. Hold my brother responsible. He has told me this, the blood of heaven. But the blood of Jesus said, Father, forgive. Father, forgive. See that the blood of Jesus is better than the blood of heaven. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Now, look at here. Then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. I love that. That is similar to what Jesus said. My God has sent his angel and has shut the lion's mouth that they have not hurt me. For as much as before him, innocency was found in me. And also before thee, O king, have I done no harm. Wow, a good man. A good man. There was the king exceedingly glad. Was the king not happy? The king was happy, right? He said that then was the king exceedingly glad for him and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the dead. So Daniel was taken up out of the dead. And no manner of heart was found upon him because he believed in his he believed in his that was why no manner of heart that was why he was not hurt by the lion he believed in his God see that the things I underline in my Bibles I underline that are you are you getting the point there? Yeah? In your Bible, on the land, those type of things, he believed in his God. That is why no heart was convinced. It was not because he was strong. Was it because he was strong? No. <laughs> no. Was it because he didn't sin? No, it was not because he didn't sin. No. I mean, but God was with him. See that? This is so beautiful. A man with God. A man with God is better than majority. Amen. A man with God is better than majority. Now look at it here. So, 25. Then was the king exceedingly glad for him. Then he commanded for him to be brought out, right? 24. And the king commanded and then brought those men which had accused Daniel. Wow. Wow, recompense is coming. Recompense is coming. Listen, it's not Daniel saying, uh, avenge me. Daniel did not shout, avenge me. Avenge me like some of our prayers. Uh, kill my enemy. Kill my enemy. I don't like those prayers. I don't like wherever you always cost your enemy. 
you know. That girl, they didn't, Jesus didn't. You know that? Right? They didn't. You just cross your enemy all the time, I cross my enemy, you cross them. You know, any, any person who is, just, who is looking at me like this, let them die by fire, let them die by fire. If everybody dies, I don't know what we will do. Who are we going to combat? Huh? Because evangelism, they are all dead. Don't be one that is the old dead people. You know? Who are you going to convert? You know? Allow God to be God. Let people, people can make mistakes. Let them be. Somebody say, Hallelujah. The first time I had the prayers, I didn't like it. You know that a church will spend one hour. Say, let my enemies die by fire. Die by fire. Oh, no, I don't like it. You see, you see, when you study the Bible, you know, Daniel didn't pray for prayers. But yet, God acted. You see that? On his own. He's not God, but God acted on his own. Look at here, 24. He said, and the king, this king now represents God. Now, the king commanded, and they brought those men. Yes, let's read together. What to go? And the king commanded, and they brought those men which had accused Daniel, and they cast them into the den of lions, then their children and their wives, and the lions had the mastery of them, and break all their bones in pieces or over the camp and the bottom of the den. Wow. 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 You know that? You know? Not even Daniel, so the king by himself. The king said, go and bring those people who accused Daniel. The men went and brought everybody who accused Daniel. They said, okay, you are going to test, have a test of your own medicine now. You are going to have a test of your own medicine. That is the meaning, oh, whatever a man, so he will live, right? They said, cast them in. Allow that God is, is our vengeance. Let vengeance belong to God. Let your hand not, don't touch it. Don't touch it at all. Don't touch it in prayer. Don't let God do this. No, leave God did not want to do. And they, they did it. And they cast the whole family in the bed. And their bones were scattered. And that was how Daniel was exonerated. The Lord is going to exonerate somebody here. Because of what you have passed through, the accusations that you have endured, the Lord is going to exonerate you. Let's see what Isaiah says in Isaiah 54. In Isaiah 54, we're going to read 15 to 17, then we close. Because, but not by me. If you enter together, together against thee, shall fall for thy faith. Behold, I have created the smith and glorious the coal in the fire, and I bring them forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the wrestler to destroy. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every time that shall rise against thee, in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and the righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Wow. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. Say, This is my portion. The Lord said, When you are serving God, you are not serving Him in bed. Don't worry. Anyone who goes out to hurt you, look at what we have to say. He's here. You don't even need to say, God, no, no, look at what you have. He said, when they have a meeting against you, against you, the angel of the Lord is there. He said, God will take that, that, that meeting against them, against them. All of them are attending that meeting will be in trouble. And he said, any tongue that is raised against you, that is where, that is the type of prayers I pray. You don't, you don't tell people to die, but you condemn the tongues that are raised against you. If any tongue is raised against you, do you know what uh, it means for tongues to be raised against you? Tongues, like what happened to Daniel, is done by tongues raised against you. They went to the king and they spoke to the king. They said, 
the selectors make a law against the plenty, they make plenty and raise the song against Daniel. So what you do is that you condemn the power. That means that these people meet or single handedly raise their tongues in prayers against you. That form will be condemned in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, yes. It's not by form. Form, form is the strongest thing. It's, it's a form. It's a form. It's a form. Anywhere where they're suffering, you know that somebody has said something against someone. The tongue is so strong. How did this start? They made the king and said, King, make a law. Make a law. They have planned it. They are making the law against Daniel. Then they convinced the king to make a law. But when we read this thing, you see that the king loved Daniel. Somebody said, Amen. Amen. The king loved Daniel. They, they deceived the king to make a law against the one he loves. Just like God loves us. The devil is trying to make, you know, the devil came to Job. And God said, have you seen my servant Job? I love him so much. He is the man from the east, the richest man. I bless him because he's obedient to me. And the devil said, if I touch him, he don't be against you. Because why he is your best man is because you have blessed him, all the things you have given to him. And if I touch him now, you will see he will be against you. God said, go and touch him. You see? You see that the devil is the one. It's not God. It's the devil. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. Look at all Job suffered. Look at what Daniel suffered. But do you know that at the end, Job was blessed two times. Do you know that at the end, Daniel was brought out from the dead and his enemies were in trouble. Somebody shout, Hallelujah. I'm going to rise up. We're going to pray. We're going to pray, pray out the right prayer. And this is the type of prayers I want us to pray. Just follow the Bible and pray these prayers. That is, that, is, that is how we deal with the matter. If you deal with the thoughts, you don't need to be afraid. It's the thoughts. Now, let us pray. Say, Heavenly Father. Say, Heavenly Father. Say, surely they will gather. Those who gather. Not by you. Not by you. Who, gather Who gather against the church? Against the church. In, the In the name of Jesus. They will offer our sex. Now say any tongue that is raised against us, against the church, in judgment, those tongues are condemned. In the name of Jesus. Say Heavenly Father. Say Heavenly Father. This is the promise of God concerning his servant. Say, I am a servant of God. Say, this promise is mine. Say, this promise is mine. God is my visitation. Pray that prayer now. My Father, my God, I thank you, Lord. Lord, you said you are my visitation. You said you are my visitation. That this is Yes, yes, the blessing of the servant of God. This is the profession of the servant of God. Thank you, my Father, my God. Yes, you are the one. You are the one in charge. You are the one protecting me. You are the one protecting the church. You are the one who is rewarding. You have rewarded us with good health, with joy, with healing, with peace, with joy, with wealth. You have rewarded us with glory, with honor. You have covered us under your will. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. For Jesus. Jesus is our covenant. Jesus is the love of God. Jesus, the blood of Jesus, has set us free. We are forgiven. We are accepted in the beloved. We are blessed and highly favored. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Thank you, Father. Is there anybody here today that has suffered this things just like Daniel? Opposition in the office, opposition in the family, opposition in the public place, opposition even in your own place. Is there anybody here?
that have been under serious persecution because of the goodness of God in your life. And others are opposing you. They are seeing you as, as, as a challenge to them. Even when you love them, you love them if they don't reward you with love. Oh, I have seen things that happen. That there are people you reward with love, yet they continue to attack you. That is not God. That is the hand of the enemy oppressing you. I want to pray for you today. I want to pray for you today. If you have been attacked like Daniel in the workplace, just raise your hands. We'll be there and we'll pray for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Father, in the name of Jesus, behold your sons and your daughters who are being oppressed and the workplace because of their, their, the excellence of their spirits and, uh, and an enemy is risen against them with persecution. Therefore, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we condemn that tongue that is being raised in, in private places against them. That tongue that is speaking behind them, that tongue that is speaking behind your sons and daughters, we condemn that tongue. That, let that tongue be silent. Let every tongue speak good. Every tongue speak good. We cover them by the blood of Jesus. We say no evil shall come near the dwelling. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Put your hands together for Jesus.